Tim from Your Sex Tech. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when your Amazon Fire TV remote is slow or unresponsive. Now, the first thing we want to go ahead and do is flip it over and then remove the batteries. So let's put these to the side now and then hold down the power button and hold down the power button for approximately one minute. And during this time, press every button on the remote going up and down it. So let's press every button in maybe four or five times. And just make sure we're dislodging anything that may be stuck. That could be the problem why it's being slow or unresponsive. Now go ahead and let go of the power button and flip over the remote and just smack it against your hand just a few times just to dislodge any kind of button that may be stuck. Now put the batteries back in. Now we can test out the remote to see if it's a little bit more responsive. If it's still unresponsive, we want to reset the remote by holding down the back button, button with three lines, and the left button right here. Press and hold all three of those buttons down at the same time now. So we will have to hold it down for approximately 10 to 15 seconds. Now on your Fire TV, you may notice that it's gonna scroll back to the home screen after about 15 seconds, and we will have to repair the remote after this. Now we wanna go ahead and hold down the home button right here, and hold this down for about 15 to 20 seconds, and you'll notice that a green light will start blinking right here in the upper right side of the remote, and it's blinking right now. This is an indication that it's trying to pair to a Bluetooth device. You can see if it's working on the TV now by moving around. Now to repair it to your TV, simply go to the back of your fire stick over your TV and unplug it from the wall outlet. Let it be unplugged for about five seconds, and then plug it back in. Now most of the time, I'm able to reconnect my remote simply by waiting about three to five minutes and then a screen will pop up that says your remote is not detected. Now on the Fire TV, we can go to the bottom of the TV right here and press the power button to turn it on. So if your remote still isn't paired back to your TV, hold down the home button once again until it starts blinking green and get closer to your TV and make sure there's a clear signal to it so you can reconnect. Also, you wanna go ahead and go on to settings once you do reconnect and then go on down and go to controllers and Bluetooth devices. Then go to Alexa voice remote and add new remote. Hold down the home button and start searching. If you don't reconnect your remote under here, you won't be able to use the Alexa voice button. So keep holding it down until it starts blinking green and it should show up under this list after about 20 to 30 seconds. All right, let's select it with the remote and repair it. Now we're able to use the voice remote. So hopefully this video did indeed help you out. Did leave it a big thumbs up. And subscribe to my channel down below for more tech out videos coming up next on your sex tech.